Hello oh, and uh, today we'll be checking out the uh, new mobile application for the warehouse management uh, system there for the Magento 2 platform based web stores. So basically this uh, particular app allows the market or allows the web store admin to manage the warehouses very easily and allows the admin to create multiple warehouses and thereby can assign multiple agents to them as well. Now this particular plugin also provides an Android and an iOS application for the warehouse agents or the staff to manage the orders very easily and through this application or uh, through the mobile application uh, the uh, agents or the staff can easily manage the orders which have been assigned to them by the uh, web store admin and apart from that the agents or the staff members can also use the app to verify the ordered product in the tote itself so right now you can see that i'm on the android device and i've already installed this warehouse management system for the magento 2 platform so today we'll be seeing how an order uh, can be uh, assigned to a uh, what we say as uh, the agent or the staff and how he can basically uh, add the uh, check the product add the products to the uh, uh, tote and verify the tote as well so as to uh, pack the products there so this uh, part would be within the uh, mobile application itself so uh, before we proceed further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates apart from that if you like this particular video kindly do give it a thumbs up now right now you can see that I have the warehouse management icon at the uh, home page of my Android device. So I'll just be tapping that up. Here you see a flash uh, screen first and a login for the agent. Now as soon as the uh, admin creates a, a staff agent and uh, what happens is that an email is sent out uh, on the registered email uh, for the same and thus the uh, agent gets the username and the password to log into their uh, mobile application. Now. Uh, uh, you can see that I've entered the username and password so I'll just be tapping here in the login button and as soon as uh, you can see that the login has been successful and here the agents can find two uh, options one is the order list and other one is the verify option now uh, under the order list uh, the uh, agent can find the complete list of orders that have been assigned to him and from here he can basically uh, basically scan the tote within that particular warehouse add the products to the tote verify the products and lastly pack the products itself and uh, the uh, agent is redirected back to the order list and uh, after an order has been assigned uh, to this particular agent he'll be able to see that within this particular order so for example i've just placed an order and uh, initially we had the order number 23 at the top uh, but uh, i just placed one more order and after the admin has assigned this order to this particular agent he can see the order id 24 and it has an orange icon that says to assign the tote so to assign the tote the uh, the agent just needs to tap on this particular order id so let's tap on this particular order id now this brings up the complete details of the product within this uh, order itself so you can see that uh, but we are not able to access these two products sticky note box and the biscuit packet so uh, as soon as we uh, first uh, scan the tote only then after we will be able to scan the barcode of these two products and then add it to the particular tote and lastly we can verify that same as well so right now we'll first uh, uh, do one thing we'll just add uh, the tote and to add the tote uh, i'll just tap here in the add button on the bottom right hand corner that would open my screen i've scanned the tote now you can see that the tote has been assigned successfully to the product so the very first at the top you can see the sticky note now uh, after the tote has been scanned now the uh, agent can see the uh, the uh, location of this particular product uh, uh, within the warehouse itself so he can navigate to other locations as well as required and otherwise if the one that's already shown if the product is still there then he can go to that particular uh, section and then he'll be able to scan this particular product so as to add it to the tote now uh, the agent can also add multiple uh, products into a single uh, tote or uh, multiple products into multiple totes as well for a single order as uh, well so uh, so now let uh, for the second product here that's the biscuit packet let me uh, add it to a new tote there so I'll just tap here in the add button and I'll scan the tote thereafter so uh, all right this the same uh, is already assigned to the uh, sticky notebook so let me open another one and we'll assign this particular uh, product to that tote so now let me tap here in the add button i've changed the tote 
you can see that the tote has been assigned successfully to the second product that's the biscuit packet the first one was sticky note box so after uh, adding uh, both of the products into two different uh, totes now the agent can basically scan the product uh, barcode to add that per particular product to the tote so uh, for that let's uh, go first go to the sticky note box and uh, we'll be scanning the products uh, barcode by tapping here on the product and uh, you can see that i have the uh, product barcode on my screen right now and uh, i'm just scanning that up and you can see a tick mark on the top left hand corner here that says uh, that the uh, particular uh, product has been added to this uh, particular tote so we need to set the quantity so the quantity asked by the customer is one so uh, i can go to the bottom left hand corner and set the quantity as one and thereafter i'll have to tap the bottom right hand corner icon that you can see a uh, arrow towards the right hand side and now uh, comes the uh, uh, scanning of the other product that's the uh, biscuit packet so uh, i'll just go ahead and i'll be scanning the biscuit product and you can see that the biscuit packet has been added to the tote and we have a tick mark on that now let's set the uh, quantity for the same i've set it as one and tap here on the uh, next button now here you can see that uh, we have a prompt that says uh, whether you have uh, uh, collected all of the items or not and if you have scan scanned all of the items uh, uh, using uh, the, their barcodes after you have uh, added those products to the uh, totes uh, do you want to submit for verification so you will just tap here in the submit button uh, for the verification is the same so uh, we are again uh, going to the order list now you can see that the order number 24 that we have from orange it has gone to green that means uh, the products have been added uh, to the tote itself now let's go back so I've just gone back by tapping on the top left hand corner icon towards the left arrow now here we have the verify button and from here uh, the uh, uh, what we say as the agent can verify the products within the tote itself so uh, let's go ahead and let's tap here in the verify button and here's my tote that I want to scan and uh, I'll be scanning the same so you can see it says uh, right now invalid uh, tote so uh, I just uh, misplaced that particular one so now let's me let me uh, tap here in the verify button once again here's the tote so I'll be scanning the tote we have scanned the tote and here you can see for the order number 24 we have the sticky note box and the biscuit packet within the uh, same uh, there and we have verified that uh, both of the products have been added to the uh, two different totes at the bottom left hand corner you can see two totes uh, shown there and the uh, tote 12-2 and tote 12-3 so that's how uh, you can verify whether you have added the products into uh, the tote itself and thereafter you'll be able to ship these products uh, directly to the customer there now uh, let me uh, scan one more uh, tote there so uh, for that i'll just go back again tap here in the verify button check the same the second tote uh, here are the products within the same and they are basically being uh, verified so you can see that uh, we already did it uh, for the sticky note box there and now you can see that on the bottom left hand we have two totes and both of them are uh, verified this means that the products have been picked up by the uh, agent within the uh, uh, within the warehouse itself and he has uh, started uh, packing the uh, products now for the shipment purposes after verifying the tote with the, the respective products uh, of the customer there and i just forgot to uh, tell you that after we have scanned the uh, edit product uh, uh, to a tote and we are going to verify the tote after uh, we are verifying the tote uh, barcode there uh, both of uh, the products or the uh, number of products would be displayed here as you can see right now for the order number 24 and to make it packed you will just have to tap on the top right hand corner that you can see a tick mark is there so let me tap that up and it says that items have been verified do you want to mark the order as packed so we'll just tap here in the submit button and that wouldn't particularly make the order status changed for this uh, order number 24 and now if the admin checks the status under the warehouse management system it would be packed
Now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see the different configurations there for this particular plugin itself. So uh, I've taken you through the uh, management uh, there for the uh, using the mobile app by the agent. Now let's all the things would be there on the backend of the uh, multi uh, on the backend of the uh, uh, store there or the uh, website. So for that, let me take you to the admin backend panel now. So uh, right now at the uh, back end uh, there for the Magento 2 uh, platform based web store. So I'll be logging into my admin account. So I'll just enter the username and the password for the same and hit the enter button. Now uh, I was talking about the uh, mobile application initially. Uh, but uh, here you can see now that uh, we have the warehouse management system and under that the admin can create and manage the warehouses can create and manage the staff check the orders or manage the orders as well he can manage the totes as well and he can make the warehouse management system con configuration as well from the same uh, section now uh, let me show you the wms configuration first so i'll just open it in another window here and uh, then i'll be showing you the rest of the options uh, that are under the warehouse management system so uh, here i'm at the configuration page uh, under the web cool block we have the warehouse management system so this is for the uh, uh, what we say is the mobile application. So you'll have to set up your username, password, your FCM notification API key. You'll have to choose the attribute for the product barcode. You also have to choose the warehouse layout theme as per your requirement there, and save the configuration. Now coming back uh, to this uh, warehouse management system uh, under the manage warehouse, uh, the admin can create and manage uh, different warehouses. To add a new one you just tap here in the add warehouses you can edit any of the created ones by tapping on the edit link under the actions column uh, to mask delete enable or disable the uh, uh, warehouses you can choose uh, the warehouses first and then from the actions drop down you can choose the appropriate action like disable enable or delete you can also filter out uh, the uh, warehouses according to the id warehouse title or the status whether enabled or disabled to add a new one just tap here in the add uh, warehouse button and that will bring up this section to create a new warehouse now here you can see the, that we have the warehouse information so we'll be setting up the title of the warehouse uh, we'll then choose the uh, source of the uh, warehouse then we'll be able to set up the row count column count shelves per cluster racks per sh shelf and the tote count for uh, this particular warehouse so for you can just tap here on the i to check uh, the things about uh, the columns how it uh, appears like sh uh, the shelves the cluster uh, the rows the shelves and the racks uh, itself and after setting up the row count column count and the rest of the things you can save and continue edit thereafter you'll be able to assign the uh, products to this particular uh, uh, warehouse and you can also import uh, mass import the uh, what we say as the uh, location of the warehouses by first downloading the sample file and then uploading it uh, using the same so that was about how you can create and uh, uh, basically the uh, warehouses and uh, under here the product assigned you'll, you can assign the products uh, to the uh, respect to uh, warehouse by navigating to the product itself and uh, uh, now let me show you how we can edit the uh, warehouse so i'll just go back to the manage warehouse section to show you the assignment of the products as well so uh, let me edit uh, the uh, warehouse uh, electronics i'll just tap here in the edit uh, link under the actions column and we'll have the edit warehouse page thereafter so uh, here you can see the uh, details of the uh, warehouse itself on the left hand side you can see the product assigned so actually all of the products are visible here and from here the uh, admin can assign the products to the respective uh, warehouse and to assign he'll have to tap here in the assign link under the assigned column so you can see that the milk box is already uh, set up within this particular warehouse so uh, to assign a new product just tap here in the assign button you'll have this particular section wherein you can assign the product to any of the rows or columns and tracks according to your requirement there then tap on the submit button and the product would be uh, set up uh, within that particular location uh, within the warehouse itself so uh, if I go back to the product assigned section you can see that this one is also assigned to this particular warehouse and the uh, location of uh, this particular product is row one column one uh, 
rack one and uh, the other details as well now uh, that was about the warehouse information now uh, let's see the manage staff section so here the uh, admin can create uh, multiple number of uh, staffs or the agents uh, so as they can handle the warehouse orders so uh, from drop down you can disable enable or delete any of the created ones to add a new one just tap here in the add stuff button you can edit any of the created ones uh, by tapping on the edit link under the ed under the actions column so for a new uh, one a uh, new age agent to the staff you'll have to set up the name his email and password confirm password his contact number date of birth gender staff address assigned warehouse so from here the admin can assign uh, this newly created one to all of the uh, to or to any of the uh, created uh, warehouses so for example i can assign him to uh, warehouse electronics then uh, you'll have to just tap here in the save staff button and an email is sent out to this uh, to the uh, uh, agent uh, using the staff email so that the email that you have entered here for the customer on that one the customer receives the uh, username and the password for logging into the warehouse itself now uh, coming back and you can also assign the uh, warehouses to the uh, to the uh, respective ones so that was about the manage stuff now about the manage orders as soon as uh, an order comes up it's uh, basically under the sales but as soon as the admin uh, assigns it to a, a particular agent then it comes under uh, the warehouse or the manage orders section so here's the order that we had just uh, a few minutes earlier we placed uh, the warehouse the staff leaser assigned totes we had assigned two totes there uh, the status right now is packed and uh, we can also wear this particular one and uh, here you can see that uh, the details regarding the product and if i go to the assign order here you can see that uh, we, had, uh, we had assigned this one uh, to the warehouse uh, ttt we can choose any one of them and according to the chosen warehouse the stock gets assigned you can see electronics it's abdullah test warehouse it's abdullah warehouse okay and then uh, after choosing the assign order you'll have to tap here in the assign order button to assign this particular uh, product to the warehouse that you've selected here and this staff as well now uh, coming back uh, to this uh, manage orders section let me tap that once again okay and uh, likewise we can see the computer manage uh, orders for uh, and can see the status as packed uh, initiated picked uh, and the rest now coming to the uh, manage tote from here the admin can filter out the totes according to different uh, warehouses so he can filter out the same so right now you can see that uh, the filter is on warehouse ttt and uh, only the warehouse ttt uh, what we say as the barcodes uh, for the tote are visible from here he can the admin can print the barcodes for the totes and can apply the barcodes there now under the free and assigned uh, uh, block here you can see whether any of the totes have been assigned or not assigned so assigned if you have an assigned one you cannot scan this uh, then it will shoot uh, through an error so uh, it should be not assigned so as to assign a uh, tote to the products there and from the drop down you can print the barcode by in bulk as well for the products or one by one as well so that's how you can manage the tote so if I cancel this out this filter now uh, I'll just tap here on the uh, all right just give me a second for that so if i tap here in the uh, filter button i can choose the warehouse and i can apply filters to check the totes uh, and the uh, respective barcodes for those totes for the uh for the required warehouse as you can see here now i've already gone through the wms configuration there so uh, that was much about the uh, warehouse management system for the Magento 2 platform based web stores and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements then kindly reach back to us at support at webcool.com or you can raise it to get at webcool.uvdesk.com. You can also contact us through www.webcool.com forward slash contacts and uh, you can also check the user guide uh, and the uh, link and the store link uh, for a better understanding of the working of this particular uh, mobile application and the backend for the same. So uh, that's it uh, for now and uh, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.